what uh, Radio Row is all about for God Bless Football and Super Bowl week. Chris Cody is with us. Uh, Bubba Watson, who became a friend of God Bless Football during the playoffs, he is with us as well. Uh, the Live Golf Tournament uh, is in town, and so Bubba has been nice enough to come in and spend a little time with us. We appreciate it, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yeah? yeah thanks for having me. Yep. What's the, uh, what's the proper amount of time to spend in Las Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a uh, one week. I think that's the, that's the for me. One week, right? That's if I'm playing, lot. if I'm playing golf, if I'm not playing golf, <laughs> way shorter. So take the golf out of it. All right, two days, two days. Right, that's max two days. <laughs> right, then it becomes sad a little bit. I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Are uh, you excited for the game? Very excited. Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, I didn't think these were the good teams that were going to be here, um, but man, the drama that that unfolded. And the excitement that unfolded, it's going to be a, it's going to start to a, a good week this week. I got to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought you would have, so you're a Dolphin fan. You started off the playoffs as a Dolphin fan. We were talking about, you were at the game, you were, you know, sitting front row at a heat game. Then the Dolphins lost to the Chiefs, and the next week, and Chris was shocked by this, yeah. you donned a Chiefs Taylor Swift jersey mm. on the show, and so you turned Chiefs fan right in the middle of the playoffs. So where are you today? I mean, you, you got to roll with it, right? right. I mean, I, by the no. end of the week, I might be a 49ers fan, right? Well, it worked out for you because you, you didn't have to become a Bills fan, right? and then you didn't have to become a Ravens fan. Yes. So now you can just kind of ride it out with the Chiefs. I got two options. Unless 49ers win, and then e either way, you win the Super Bowl, right. so it doesn't exactly. really matter. Right. <laughs> exactly. Big week for you. And two is still our quarterback. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I mean, don't get me started. Did you see him at the skills competition? No. He didn't look good, man. Well, he, he needed to make a statement there. When you have the, if the season ends the way it ended for Tua, a statement could be made. I hear how accurate you are. He finished last in the accuracy competition. Yeah. yeah I, know, I know it's the Pro Bowl and he probably wasn't really focused, but... I'm just saying, you can make a statement there, and he didn't make a statement. But it's a skills competition. Is that? <laughs> but, dude, it's it's accuracy. Uh, he can't well, run. We're so talking about like, practice. We are talking about practice. <laughs> talking about practice. <laughs> but he channels his talent. I just think <laughs> when you have the criticisms of not being mobile, you can shine in this competition. You should blow everybody else out of the water if you're the accuracy guy. You can't move like the rest of them. So it's like, I don't know. He had a chance to impress me there, and he didn't. Hmm. He's right. taking it too seriously. Right? He is taking it too seriously. Well, I'm just We're in I'm Vegas, very man. I'm very emotional with Tua right now. Hey, I'm what stays place. in Vegas? Wait, what, what happens in Vegas, Vegas stays in Vegas. Vegas. So yes. Vegas happens in Vegas. But that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Yes. <laughs> but but it, it happened in Orlando, though. It did happen. So. I know. Right. Right. But we're well, here. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I know, but his larger point is a fair one. If you pride yourself on accuracy and then you have a skills competition in which you need to be the most accurate quarterback in the NFL but, and you're not, it's like if you had a longest drive competition and the longest driver on tour was hitting you 200 yards. But at the end of the day, which let's be, be honest. would be a great drive for me, by What way. sport... Do you really get excited about watching the All-Star game or the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I saw the clips. I didn't even watch it. Exactly. I'm just saying. That proves my point. You just, you just wanted to complain about no, Tua. No, I'm yeah. just emotional. I wanted to check in and see, oh, he dominated. But then did, I could be like, okay, at least my guy's but the But you didn't guy. want to check in. No, I'm you just did saying. It. <laughs> that's, like, that's like defense at the All-Star game. Like, that's what we're watching. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you're a good defensive team, if you're a good defensive player... Well, let, let me ask you a question. What do you think... Bubba's judging you right now, I, man. I'm judging myself. I'm emotional, man. I don't know what to think of Tua, so I'm I'm just, I'm looking for every little How thing. about this? Do you want a hug? I, yeah. Ooh, oh, yes. Hug it out. Yeah, yeah. There it Thank is. You. Thank you. <laughs> there, Radio <laughs> Row, Super Bowl <laughs> week. I do feel better, honestly. A hug goes a long way, man. It does. It right? does. Yes. I did, wrote a book about my issues. Uh, did you really? Yes, I did. Uh, I think we had you on to promote that yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, promote so, it. Uh, <laughs> what chapter is hugging? Nobody, nobody bought it. Is so hugging chapter I got nine? plenty of copies. <laughs> what do you mean no one bought the book? Uh, People bought it, right? Yeah, I couple, my mom. Yeah. Did you get an advance? No. <laughs> really? really? I mistake, paid for it Bubba. myself. I paid wow. for it. Oh, it's about wow. giving back, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? No, it's yeah. about making money. I want to get to the <laughs> point in my life where I can pay things for myself, where it's like, <laughs> I funded this. What well, you mean? Like, if you keep talking about Tua, nobody's going <laughs> to... <laughs> His career. <laughs> uh, it's it's fair. Fair. <laughs> so fair. When you arrived at Tua at the skills competition... I'm a broken man. I wrote down notes here when I wanted to talk about him. Tua was the first thing I put down. <laughs> what, <laughs> else? <laughs> what else is on your list? <laughs> yeah. What, what Super Bowl predictions? Uh oh. Oh, to that at the and, end. Uh, right. Angriest you've been with your caddy. Right. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. Before we get save all those, Chris, yeah. okay? The prediction at the end, angriest at your caddy. Um, 
Did the hug feel good? Like the hug is oh, a great stress dude, reliever, right? I, I, I'm I kind of said it jokingly, but it did calm me. I was like, all right, relax. Right, it's, mm-hmm. just, it's so just a skills competition. I'm wondering, as a dolphin fan who takes the skills competition very seriously, <laughs> I don't take the skills competition no, seriously. I'm, I'm just Tua you, needs two is in a weird spot right now. Hear me I out. I feel like we're spending too much just time. Just hear me out. Roll hear the tape out. back. Yeah. You you do. Yeah. yeah. Agree on the skills competition. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? What did you think no, of his, I'm wondering his if touchdown? He's mad at you for for rolling over on the Dolphins the second they this, lost. This is not my interview. Let's talk to Bubba. <laughs> I'm asking Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> this, this sounds more like a session, like helping yeah, you yeah, out. Welcome Therapy to my life. Session. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Bill, you were going to ask. Well, I was going to say, what did you think of the t- the touchdown he threw to Tyreek Hill? It was like you know, it was one play touchdown in the yeah. Pro Bowl. It was a flag football game, but mm-hmm. if you take the skills that competition, me. <laughs> so, he, so he showed you something. <laughs> Flag football. That impressed you. Yeah, I mean, I saw a little look in his eye there. I was like, all right, we're He's, back. You could tell that he was like, all right, I was shitty the other day. I got to show I gotta, Chris I gotta, something. I got to right. show Chris something. I can't Chris throw an interception here after what I did at the skills competition. I feel like, I feel like you're invested in this. Dude. Very invested. I mean, some of us yes. stick with the Dolphins. <laughs> that's, that's where I was at. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You want to hug? hug? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm content. I'm yeah. content where I'm at. Yeah, well, Bubba can do whatever he wants. Yeah, I know. Man. I mean, He's got two green jackets. Yeah. <laughs> and, tonight, and tonight I'm pulling for the Golden Knights. You know what I'm saying? When I'm right. at the game tonight. Of course you are. Right. That's sick. <laughs> are you going to the game tonight? Oh, yeah, for sure. You love hot. What's your second favorite? So you love football the most, I think. Well, golf is definitely not my first, just I, I for the know. record. It's crazy. Just for the record. Right. Yes. Um, first is NBA all day long. Really? Um, football is right there. Um if I'm watching, right? If I'm if I'm spectating and being there, that's what I'm that's what I'm into. Baseball is a um, anytime Aaron Judge is up to bat, I definitely want to watch Aaron Judge and play. Right. Even though I have a Double A baseball team right. that's affiliated with the Marlins, you paid for that too. Yeah, I, well, I got a guy. You know, I got a guy. I got a guy. Um, well, what's, what's your team? My baseball team. Yeah, I, yeah. I grew up the biggest Yankee fan, Don Mattingly, being left-handed. Don uh-huh. baseball. Um, yeah, I mean, how can you not love that back in the day? And then now affiliated with the Marlins. Um, Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna try to get down there, go to BP, and do all that stuff. But um, but yeah, we've been affiliated with them for a couple of years now. So wow, hmm. Billy can help you out with the Marlins. Hey, you yeah, can get that you, done yeah, for I you. Can put you in contact with the right people. You <laughs> <want> to <laughs> BP. Yeah. Um, I nap to golf all the time. <laughs> do golfers nap to golf? Like, what's your best napping sport? Like on the cat, like put it on the TV oh. on the couch. Any any anytime you're watching the PGA Tour, oh, just, oh man, it's just, Jim Nance. Just oh my spring. gosh, it just puts you to sleep. Oh, just, in a good well, way, though. Welcome back, folks. Like. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know if that's insulting though to golf and the PGA Tour or not. I played on the PGA Tour for right. 16 years. I'm I'm good with it. Yeah, I did just, it. Right. There's nothing better than a so, nice Saturday afternoon. So when you get a weekend, you're like us. You get a weekend off, put golf on the uh, on the television late afternoon, and just kind of doze off a little bit, right? When there's no other sports on, then yes. yes. I, I actually I. Truly, I'll be honest and, and tell you the truth. The LPGA, I love watching right. because it's so positive. When they, they're talking about, they're building up their product, yep. right? And they're building it up. So I really love watching the girls play. Mm-hmm. And my wife played a professional sport, so I'm supporting that. But it's it's fun to watch that because those girls hit it so straight. I'm yep. like, man, I only dreamed to hit it that straight. <laughs> right, right. Um, I feel like Liv is picking up some momentum, some steam in from this standpoint. Um, it's golf the way Chris and I would play golf. There's music blaring on certain holes. There's just, it's it, people are wearing shorts. It's casual. It's fun. Yeah, it seems yeah. fun. And then with John Robb signing, it seems like you guys are really kind of picking up some steam here. Yeah, I think we're going in the right direction. You know, the 10-year plan, we're, we're three years in, right? And we're a year early. So the 10-year plan is definitely moving forward rapidly. Um, obviously, with the music, with the shorts, with the team concept, um, it's a dream come true. It, it makes me uh, wake up on Sunday and Saturday afternoons mm-hmm. because of the music. <laughs> right. And then, like, you know, every every once in a while, like like in Vegas this week, we're going to have a party hole. And so it's a, little, it's a little par three, and people get buzzed, and um, they just they just have fun with the music. And we have we pick out our walkout song. Um, and so it's fun. What are we going it's, with? Me? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, did a, I did 16 bars with uh, KB, and uh, so I have my own um, song with him. Um, I'm going to just do it. And so I, I dropped 16 bars on it, so I always play mine, you know. Yeah, always promoting myself, yeah, you know how it is. What don't you have, Bubba? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what don't you have? I try, to, I try to dabble in everything, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. a podcast would be next. Maybe get on a podcast or All something. All right, let's do that. You yeah. own the Blue Wahoos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, Billy's a huge I've been, baseball fan. I've, man. I venture out. You know, I have. Yeah. I have different do tastes. You, do you like when the players? Oh, it's not a nice way to put it, but you like when the players get injured and then the major leaguers are in town for like you know two, three games. <laughs> um, 
No, you never want anybody to get injured. But, but, but anytime that but. you can, but you know what? It's it's crazy because um, Uri Perez, right? Yeah. He was the youngest, I think, in the league. Um, and then my son is 11. I mean, they he can't even speak English, right? He's going to classes every day to learn English, to yeah. get better at it because he's such a great talent, but he's also wanting to learn. And so to have a young kid like that um, be able to interact with my son and them talk, and even though they're talking, they're communicating not how me and you would, they're communicating mm-hmm. different ways because yeah. they're closer to the same age back a couple years ago. Yeah. And then to see him grow and, wa- and watch him grow, it's been fun to do. And so that's really what the fun part is. Now, the injury's coming back. Who doesn't want to see some of the, the greats or some of the, some of the good players up there? But to see the young talent move up, man, it's been a dream come true, for, especially for Pensacola, yeah. but also for my family to be able to watch that. That's so weird because obviously you build relationships with the guys you want to see them succeed and go up. But then you also like, they're then gone from your team because they made it to the majors. Yeah, you're promoting you're promoting the the family the family brand. You're from, you're promoting the um, the city, getting behind a team and supporting your team. And then you want the success of these great players to move on, so you can watch that right on that level. But obviously, you can't have all the greats staying at your place. They yeah. got they've got to move on to the bigger and better things. So, right. but also well, not great. Right? Yeah. <laughs> o- over the years, Stugatz and I have been trying to solve things in baseball. I don't know if you like baseball and the way that baseball goes. And the minor leagues is it seems like the perfect place to Testing ground. test these things out. Like you see the Savannah Bananas and kind of what they do. Sometimes they go a little bit too far. I'm over the Savannah Bananas. Are honest. you? <laughs> Unless they want to work with us in the future. But <laughs> the it's just, he gets I, met, you need a hug. I, only, yeah, I, I can only a... see a pitcher do a dance routine before he throws the pitch so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, you were saying. Did well, so guys, are we going to work with them? <laughs> Uh, Cut that part. They were trying to get us to come out to do a first pitch one time. Well, company guy. Pitch. Real I'll company throw, guy. I'll here. throw first pitch. Well, not I anymore. Love the Savannah Bananas. Not if, anymore. Hey, if y'all come to the, uh, y'all can throw out first pitch. Dude, don't get out of here. We're Bubba, in. Bubba, we're in. Do a show, do a show from the stadium, we whatever you want to do. Huh? Bubba. I, I know a guy. Let me call him. Yeah, he said it was okay. He said it was okay. Um, Very exciting. So, funny. going back to your question, I know we jumped off topic, but we were the first to, um, to put the netting all down the side in minor league baseball. Mm-hmm. We put the AstroTurf in, we got a big jumbotron, um, we did the pitch clock, we've done everything. We've tried to be, as soon as MLB announces it or, or says this is what's coming, you implement we it. try to be the first ones to do it. Um, because not only do we want to be on MLB's side and, and them, them help us and we help them, we, we want to be safety and we want to try to improve the game and the speed of the game. So it's, it's been fun to, to try to eradicate those challenges. Um, you don't want the fans to fall asleep, and you're trying to make it exciting. So you want the people there. Baseball on TV is slower, but in public, you know, when you're there, when your family's there, it makes it fun and exciting. How do you feel about a magic at bat? And just hear me out for a second, mm-hmm. okay? Because I maintain this with baseball. You don't see the stars enough. So when I watch an NBA game and I go and see LeBron play, right, I know I'm getting 36, 38 minutes of LeBron. He's going to give me 25 points. He might give me 50 points. And but you know, I'm in crunch time, play. he's getting the ball. Right, but in baseball, Aaron Judge, I only get to see him three or four times a game. So I think one time per game, the manager should be able to go with a magic at bat, meaning he can go out of order. Even if Aaron Judge is not up, he could just throw out like a challenge flag, let's say, and Aaron Judge gets a fifth at bat or a sixth at bat, even if he just batted last inning. Do you like that? I yes. mean, I mean, yeah, you, you, there's, there's, yes, I love it. Any, yes. t- any change is good, right? I yeah. mean, that's why we brought in live, but the, the change is good and, and trying to think outside the box to do that now is that going to be the perfect thing to do it i mean started in minor leagues to see but yeah um That's, but yeah i mean anything you can come up with would be better than just watching nice ponds, of, ponds in the outfield of you know how yeah. like, you know like in houston they used to have that Bubba hill that. they used to have a hill in the middle of the outfield <laughs> yes. that they just put there and then there was like a flagpole in the middle of it so we started talking like what if you just every team can place a pond wherever it's they want strategy. in the outfield? They can choose home field advantage where our pond is. Exactly. We put our right. pond right behind mm-hmm. shortstop. Well, you can't move ponds, so it's going to probably you be there the entire it season. In between but series, you have to, if you it's hard to move a pond. Series, what, yeah. Are you having a little little baby pool? What are we doing? That's moving it? Back. Yeah, I, I'll tell so you. Here's old the question. Manager Jim here's Leland loved that idea. With I mean. what I said a second ago, <laughs> hey, what I said a second ago, we're going to take it back. Sometimes you go too far outside the box. The pond is too far. Well, we haven't we haven't gotten to the trampoline warning track. Yeah. Yeah. He gets that, you know? We have trampoline warning tracks. I didn't pitch you that one. <laughs> but no, it's a ball pit over the home run, though. So yes. you land in a ball pit. It's safe. Yeah. So you can <laughs> jump you on a trampoline to rob the home run, and then you land in a ball pit. Mm-hmm. You know what? Everyone. I like it when you're more excited. Yes. Yeah. yeah. More positive. Yeah. More positive yeah. energy. The, the idea's not good, but he just likes that you're happy. Yeah. 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 Are you going to the uh, to the Super Bowl? 
I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm flying out at 1 a.m. Right. on Saturday to go straight to Athens, Georgia, and my wife, 25 years ago, was in the Final Four with the University of Georgia, and I don't know why they picked Super Bowl Day <laughs> in a 12 o'clock game, right. but that's where they're celebrating their 25 years of being the last time they were in the Final oh, Four and cool. my wife was there. So, obviously, my wife said I could stay. But I'm going to support my you wife. Can't. You know, right. no, no. One of them you, you can't. Can yeah. Bubba. yeah, get your ass off. Oh, <laughs> the one thing I know is she she gave me the look, but said I could stay, and I was like, I'm not staying. No, so, the look. You're a cagey vet. You don't yeah. fall for that. Yeah, so I'll be there for that. Um, but then we'll still have time to watch the uh, watch the game in Athens, and then um, and and pull for my team. You know. Yeah, big I'm going to win no matter yeah, what, exactly. right? I'm winning no matter yeah, what. Right? win no matter what. It's Me and Tua. A, yeah. <laughs> it is annoying, like, the people who plan, like, weddings and birthday parties, like, during the football season. <laughs> Not just Super Bowl, just any Sunday. Right? Listen, I love the University of Georgia, but what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> they probably just grabbed a date a year ago, not thinking, oh, is this Super Bowl Sunday? Like, Sunday, noon game, perfect. Like, Super Bowl Sunday. They didn't know my favorite teams were going to be in the game. That's yeah. true, too. <laughs> what if you invited your wife to uh, to go to the Super Bowl? What would you choose? She's going to Georgia. Is she going to Georgia? You, you know, tried that already, didn't you? Yeah her, yeah, her coach was so special to her, meant so much to her. She moved there when she was 17. So she's from Canada. So she's been away from Canada since she was 17. And um, and seeing the girls, you know, getting the team back together, sure. it's going to be awesome. Where'd your love of the Yankees come from? Because my, you're from Pensacola, so I figured like maybe the Atlanta Braves or something. No, so Is that your jersey. No, so um, my yes, I got a few. <laughs> um, so um, my dad, growing up, was a big Yankees fan. Um, he um, so when I was born, and when they figured out I was left-handed, he wanted me to be a baseball player, be a pitcher. And um, Don Mattingly was coming through, being a first baseman, and so that was the guy I looked up to because you know you, you follow your your parents or that that guidance. And so you start following that team and, and watch them, and they're winning. Who doesn't want to watch winners, right? right. And so, um, you know, that's where that's where the love of the Yankees came. And then when you see some of the the great names that have come along after Don Mattingly, I mean Derek Jeter, but now you got Aaron Judge, who's who's, you know, my son did a, a story. My son's adopted and did a story on him. He's adopted, and then he's a baseball player. And my son now uses number ninety nine and everything he does because he's following this great guy that happens to be. A great baseball player as well, and a, and a pretty big hitter every once in a while. That's awesome. How long did you golf, not knowing you were uh, you were a lefty? Because um, you said when your parents figured out that I was a lefty. Well, when I was we, we I started tee ball when I was four. That's when I started throwing and everything. And then golf, I started at age six. And my dad said he's not going to be a golfer. I want him to play baseball. My mom, my mom was obviously the ball. So at age six, for my dad to go on Saturdays <laughs> to play with his buddies, I had to go with him and tag along. So, hmm. yeah. What is the uh, most annoyed you've made your caddy? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pouting? I mean, every round? I'd say at least you got to give me, like, five minutes every round that I pout. Um, <laughs> Where is the most friction in that relationship on the course? Like, generally, on the green? On the, oh, the green. Yeah. I mean, my, my, my skill set is not known for the green. <laughs> okay. um, it's all the other stuff. Ah. And so last year, um, gosh, I think I was dead last in putting on, um, on live. 48 guys. I finished 49th, I think. Um, and so, so that's where my struggle has always been. Not because, um, you know, I can't do it, but it's just because you want it so much. And mentally, that just that takes takes me over the edge. And what do you me. think about right before, like, the biggest putts of your life? I was going to ask him, do you get nervous like, when you're standing over those? Because, like, like, I, if I'm shooting a good round, like, let's say I'm, I have a chance to break 80, I get nervous over a putt on 18. So I'm only th in the biggest moments when you need to drill a putt, like, do you? Ha is it just I go through my same routine? Or is there a thought of, like relax like truthfully because of who i am and my personality and what what's going on in my head when i'm under pressure like that i don't even think about negatives so like mm. when i was in the woods at augusta i never once thought about the negative here i thought about I'm only crush this, this shot. one shot i got to hit and so it's just like a putt you got one five footer um luckily my first master's win was a six incher so i could make right. that one but right. um so that's what you're thinking about when you're, you know, I'm so focused on the one thing that my mind kind of hones in on that. Now, when I'm down the bottom of the list, that's when a lot of things are going through my head. That iconic shot that you hit, was your caddy begging you not to try to hit that shot? Or he was just like, I got to let Bubba be Bubba? No, Ted Scott um, is now on the bag with um, Scotty Scheffler. They're doing pretty well. Um, yeah. And so he, <laughs> he, he's always said, I carry the paintbrushes and right. he lets me be the artist. Right. And so at that moment, that's one of those moments where you're just like, Whatever club you grab, I'm backing away, and I'm just going to watch it. 
and then you paint the picture. Huh. And so that's what he's always said to me. He's like, on certain moments, you just he's got to just let me paint. Do golfers go for a caddy that helps their weakness? Like, have you always looked for caddies that can read a good green since you said that, like, that's kind of your weakness? Is that how guys do that stuff, or is it more relationship-based? Yeah, so a lot of guys are um, – a lot of guys are, are – focused on that yeah. and Ben Crane helped me find um, Ted Scott years ago in 06 uh, when I get, was a rookie and um, I wanted a guy that had the same belief system as I had yeah. we, went, we, we went to Bible study together on tour and and so Ted Ted is older and so I got to learn from Ted as being a husband to being a dad forget golfing just yeah. the other stuff of life okay what kind yeah. of relationships harder for you to end an actual like relationship or a like caddy. a or yeah. caddy relationship wow. Like, what do you mean a relationship? Well, have you ever broken up with a caddy via text? Yeah, like, yeah, or ghost of a caddy. Like, what's the worst caddy <laughs> breakup that you've had? Yeah. Well, so I had Ted Scott. I had Ted Scott for 16 years. Um, and then um, my, my boy Gabe, who's right over there, um, is now my caddy. Yeah. I had him for a little bit. Did you, he, it's not you, it's me. Like, how did that, yeah, how did and then, that end? But I called, you know, at, you, it sucks because you you're a friend. 16 years, you're a friend. But we, rel we realized he needed, to go, he needed to go help another young kid, and he got a great bag. I'd go to that bag, too, if I was. Mm, right. I'd turn caddy, to, caddy for Scotty Scheffler. But. How, do you and a, how do you and a caddy keep it fresh? Mm. Well, we don't, ever talk about, we don't ever talk about golf, so it's mm. all the new stuff that's going on, right? Sports. Um, yeah. You know, right. news, what's happening in the world, um, <laughs> those kind of things. Why are you making this like a weird marriage? Well, He's no, making saying, it sexual. No, not sexual. I just meant like in relationships, you can sometimes get like stale and it's just like, all right, let's do this drill. I don't know. I'm just. Has Gabe learned to put up with your costumes? Like, the, stuff like, like that. The, the meltdowns. Is Gabe like. Yeah, just he's, Bubba, we're good. he's been yeah. helping me out for quite a while on all my other projects. Right. So he, he, he knows my issues. You mentioned Ben Crane. What are the chances we get a golf boys reunion? I don't know if you guys know about this. What? You, Ben Crane, Ricky Fowler, you guys did like Hunter music Mayhem. videos. Like 2.0 Hunter. on Hunter Mayhem. <laughs> yeah. I remember just, it, it might you have never been seen ten, this? I didn't see it. It, oh, it must have been 10 or I'm over 10 right years now. ago now. <laughs> Great so, YouTube videos. So if you go to music YouTube. Music videos. It's, they're hilarious. It's music videos. We did um, golf boys. And golf and boys 2.0. 2.0. Is that it? Yeah, that's the two. When's 3.0 coming? And then I went. I had to go solo. Ah, oh, you did one. So I did my Christmas. So I, 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 I do Bubba. So I do Bubba Claus. So I did a Christmas rap I went with Bubba solo. Claus. That's hilarious. And then I did the KB. Um, I dropped the 16 bars with KB nice. on his album. Right, That's I'm cool. Man. I'm looking this up. Right I mean, now. It's, you're not gonna be able to watch it now. We're yeah, we're yeah, in the middle of recording. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're interviewing <laughs> him. Spelled my name weird. wrong, but that's fine. Uh, that's yeah, that's yeah, not that. Totally you. fine. Google will fix it. It's not Bubba Wayson. Got Bubba in a nice pair of suspenders in the original one. It's it's lady. It's lady maternity overalls. Oh yeah. Ninety nine. Sin at the thrift store. Yeah, yes. I'm telling you, so you, oh got, you gotta watch it later. It's right, hilarious. Hold on a yes. second. You're shopping at thrift stores still? <laughs> well, no. You you gotta get the you gotta get the outfits right. Listen, the outfit is is the most important thing you can possibly do. Like, there's a reason why I wore this hoodie today. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, there's reasons why you do yep. things. Everything I do is, I hate to tell you this, but it's calculated. Really? Yeah, yeah it's weird. Mm. Really? It's weird. Uh, what is this watch telling us? Because that watch is confusing as hell. I'm looking at that. It tells me that I'm pretty cool. That's what it's telling me. <laughs> there's, a reason, there's a reason why I walked through like this, and there's a reason why yeah. I showed it when we got on, mm. you know, the cameras around, you know? Right. What's, what's, so, the, what's the strangest thing that you are cheap on? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm cheap one. I, I. That is a good question. I okay, on the golf course, I'm I'm the cheapest. Like I will bet you all day for five dollars. Really, really. <laughs> but like oh, I, I just speed, hate, baby. But I just hate like like these guys are like, hey man, we're gonna play for a thousand bucks. We'll play five thousand bucks. I was like, is that gonna change your life? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like. Then if it's going to change your life, then you got issues one way or you got issues the other way, right? And yeah. so like, let's do five bucks. I can play for pride. Like, so yeah. on the golf course, all these guys want to want to gamble and make bets, and I'm like, dude, I don't care. It's yeah. practice. We're talking about practice, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. I would never gamble, at, obviously during the competition. So on a Tuesday, I'm like. We're talking about practice, like flag football game. Like yeah. that's what we're talking. Well, about. some people put a lot of you know What's weight on opposite? flag football games, skill competitions. What is the like opposite? That. The opposite yeah. of what he just asked. Where are you the most? Oh my like, gosh! I'll spend money on this. Oh my gosh! Where are you the bougiest? Cars, right? cars yeah. all day long. Uh, yeah. And, and I'll be honest, I've wasted a boatload. I'll just say a boatload of money on NBA games. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Really? Oh my gosh! You yeah. got to pay for it, man. They got really? Bubba Watson. Just I because I'm going to. You know, you said bougie. I I sit courtside. I'm yeah. not going if yeah, I don't you, sit you don't know, no, I know, but you should get free tickets to the game. You're you, two-time Here's the thing, champion, though. There's man. certain times, he's like, to get free, they're like, uh, blah, blah, and I'm just like, I'll just We're going to interview you in really? the first quarter. It's, it's like, no, nah, I'm not doing that right. shit. Yeah, it's easier no, just to buy them. You buy your tickets, go right. sit down, right? You don't have to deal, shake hands, And then, you know, then you leave, and people forget about me winning the Masters and my social media presence.
present. So they're just like, no, nah, we're not. Here's, we'll give it to you half price. I'm like, man, I'll just pay for it. What's yeah. the uh, What's the most expensive car you own? What's the coolest car you own? Because those could be two very different things. Oh man, that's. I'm gonna get in trouble. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I don't have any expensive cars right now. I have the the electric Hummer. I don't keep them. Like I get them and I just I move them fast. Right. right? Electric Hummer is um, like over six figures. It's an, uh, it's it was. Don't worry about my man's fine, wallet. Billy. It was fifteen. It was one fifteen. One fifteen plus. He's tax. living right. good. If you yeah. know now they mean. now resell them. You get a little more. But um, and then I have a G wagon, Mercedes G wagon. Uh, my wife has a Suburban and a Jeep. She's a Jeep girl. So um, that was it. That's my car. How, how do you like the electric Hummer? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's really helping the planet, you know? Well, <laughs> doesn't have much hum to it, though. <laughs> Get it? Because it's quiet? I don't know. <laughs> that was so terrible. Yeah, but when you're in up. reverse, it <laughs> makes <laughs> a little noise. Give him a hug. Give him a little hug. He's such a bad joke. He's such a bad joke. All right, we're back. We're back, baby. He's such a bad joke. So the coolest thing, you asked the question. So I bought a... We're rattle, Bubba. It's okay. Well, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep this going. You're keeping the train on the tracks. You're great. So a 1939 LaSalle Seahawk... I had, and it was, but it was decked out, had new Cadillac engine in it, all this stuff, 600 horsepower. It's probably the loudest vehicle I've ever had. They had convertible top, was electric, um, so it's all customized, and I had that for a while. It was the loudest vehicle I ever owned. It was crazy. Um, I was going to the Barrett Jackson, and my wife gave me permission to buy a car, but before that car came up, yeah. This other car came up, and uh-huh. they cranked it. And when they, I'm from the south, and my name's Bubba, right? So yeah. loud, I'm looking, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And so this thing, they, they revved the engine. I was like, just raised my hand. <laughs> just bought it. I was like, what an idiot. <laughs> how do you know when it's time to sell? Like, how do you decide, like, I have, I have too many cars. Like, I can get rid of a couple here. Like, is it because, like, I, I only have so much space, so if I want a new one, I get rid of one? Or someone just it's, comes and makes you an offer, and you're it, like, I got it. The honest, dead honest truth is if I feel I can talk my wife into it, uh-huh. She hates spending money, <laughs> so if I can, if I feel there's a way I can kind of sweet talk her into letting me right. get a new vehicle, uh-huh. like showing up in Athens, probably a couple of weeks I'll have a new vehicle. Really? <laughs> yeah. So Try you have to sweet talk her into. You it. have to like sell your wife into the new vehicle, it, right? And make but how do you how like oil her. change? Like, man, I need an oil change. I probably just go and get a new but one. But how do you know? <laughs> how do you know when to get rid I've of the old that, ones? I've done mo- oil changes. I've done multiple oil changes. I'm like, you know, I just give me a new one. I'm good. I just sell the car. I, listen, I wrote a book. I'm special. You okay, can, <laughs> Bubba, you can go, go okay. on Groupon. You can get a yeah. Jiffy Lube oil change for like twenty nine dollars. You don't need to buy a new car. I was in a car dealership for five years, and I still bought cars for myself. From yourself? Yeah, I did. Did you give great. yourself a good deal? No, man. I, just, I'm, I was like, man, you can't get it for that price. I'm yelling at myself. <laughs> what's the like? What's the one thing you haven't done or business you haven't tried yet that you want to try? Because it seems like you've had your hand in everything. Man. So I. Because, like I said, my wife played professional basketball, and yep. I love the NBA. I've tried to get myself in position to to purchase. I'm talking about a, I can't afford anything. A team, so right? I'm talking about a small piece of a, a small team, piece of a just team. so I can live in that city and be there and, and support them. Get free tickets. Yeah, get free tickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, finally, finally. <laughs> but I'll be. Hey, so you listen. We got. We got. I got many things to say here, but um, I buy my own season tickets at the Wahoo Stadium because you want to show the workers and the staff like. No, yeah. this is a business, and we have we can't just mm-hmm. just free, everything ain't free. Just like the ice cream shop, when I go in there, I pay. Yep. I pay for my ice cream, pay for everything. Um, driving range, driving range is the only thing I cheap maybe out at, on. I maybe don't at pay dinner those. though, free apps. Come on. Yeah, you know, no, they know man. you. Like no, apps are on the house. When but y'all come to throw out a first pitch, I'll get y'all ice cream too. I know a guy. We'll pay for it though. You know, tip the amount for those appetizers. Oh, come on, you're Bubba Watson. Right. So, so, he's those apps. so wait, so hold on. Go Billy. back to this. I'm making my pitch right here. Okay. I want to be part of an NBA team. And yeah. when the Phoenix Suns were up for sale, right? And um, I was trying to get in there somehow because I love I love Scott Maybe the four of us partner up. Yeah, partner up. We can put. You're gonna have to put down. I got like I got a few I got a few hundo on it. And so I, you know, I I started. I'm in this new business now so i had people that have a lot of money and so i was trying to well how does that work like you find out a team's for sale like and you start like making calls like who knows Billy, he's who, how do we get into we are, this man. well i'm hoping that i'm hoping y'all can help me get over the edge and i get one of these super circles but we're uh, helping you get into super <laughs> circles by a team okay <laughs> maybe they're watching i can get you in there yeah, exactly. yeah okay <laughs> but no that's i mean that's really what it is you start meeting people and golf puts me in a lot of different um around a lot of different people. But I, I, I met a group that's out of Phoenix that have a um, little bit of knowledge, a little bit of backing, and, and yeah. we tried to uh, make it work. Um, my influence wasn't as big as I was hoping for. But, um, yeah, I mean, so my dream would be to be a partner like that, like small piece, but I'm there supporting and showing love and, and 
and move to that city because that's that's the stuff I ju- just enjoy doing. It's, it's not about money to me. It's just about supporting and, and showing love to a group of people, young people. Same reason I went to live, same reason I have the double-A baseball team. I get to support these kids and help hopefully – teach them life lessons and they move on to do bigger and better things and not get in trouble after they get a heap of cash right. and, and show up in the, the bad reports. How hard is that once you first get big and you get your first cash? Like how hard is it to not get in trouble? Because everything is thrown at you. Well, I mean, you can always make bad choices, but but it's golf is different. Golf, you have to earn it. Mm-hmm. It's very rare. Tiger is an exception to the rule. He, he got money before he showed it. I mean, he did show us an amateur yeah. golf, but right. it ended up working out. It worked yeah. out pretty good they for him. They were right about Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nike, Nike did all right there. Um, so that's the difference in golf. Golf, you don't get it up front. You get it as you perform. Mm-hmm. And so, so I think that's what puts us in a different category, kind of like tennis. You just, you just kind of um, well, and you, you have, have to, to earn it. You have to keep earning it to keep. You have to keep right. winning to keep earning. So you have to have, I guess, a different level of maturity because it's not a guarantee. Right. If you if you threw somebody a hundred million up front, I mean, we'd probably be in the news media a lot differently. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, John Rahm just kind of took that, right? I mean, took more, six hundred million. Yeah, but yeah. but it, but it's but it's later in his career, right? Like he's yes. he's already no, it makes he's already went through yes. the right. the immaturity yes. level, right? Yes. Well, I think as long as you guys can play in the majors, like I don't see like why wouldn't you take that kind of because the majors are what's important to you guys. Yeah, right? but it, it's the ten. Yeah, yes, one hundred percent. But yes. it, it's the 10 year plan if you look at the vision and saw the background which i've tried to things we haven't seen obviously. yeah right. and so that's where people come together and who doesn't want to be part of a team every franchise is doing well around the country around the world so golf is now having franchises see you mentioned earlier your wife not liking when you spend money uh i don't want to get you in trouble here no Se- you won't secret purchases Ooh. I don't have any secret. Per- I don't really? have a. Truthfully, I mean, I you know, first chapter I wrote about this in the book, but I it was I communication with my wife. Nineteen years of marriage, going on twenty years. Uh, September first will be um, twenty years. But being together, I, she's my best friend. If I can't share with her, then yeah. And then my money man, he knows everything. I can't keep it a secret from him. But she's not the one I'm worried about. It's more my money man. But oh, he's like, hey. No. Yeah, he just can't buy that. Mm. <laughs> exactly. He's like, how much is that, Homer? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Has Mickelson ever tried to rope you into like a big gambling game? Or? Uh, and he's legendary for it. Yeah. Because you said you don't do it, and I don't play. So much. Ryder Cups and President's Cup, right? Yeah. You, you want to get the juices flowing. And so I've paired with him twice in practice rounds, and he's called me out twice. And, and – um, He's lost twice. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like a good person to bet against. Right. I mean, <laughs> he's, he, he's lost twice, and he doesn't, he doesn't want to call me out anymore. That's so great. <laughs> Have you played golf with any, like, like, Yankee heroes of yours? Have you had the chance to play, like, with Jeter, let's say? No. No? I've never, I've, you know, I've met a bunch of the guys, uh, but no, I've never played golf with um, any of them. What would you shoot righty for a round? Oh, man. Chrissy, destroy us. No, I, I'm just... I, I, my claim to fame is I made an eagle right-handed um, when I was in high school, but then I, you know, I, gosh, I wouldn't be that good now. But like, I mean, when I say not are good, you I'm talking 90? about. No, not even close. Oh, really? Yes, I'll be Might putt better though. <laughs> Maybe I try That'd that. be a funny match. Chris Gosso, I'd beat you. Yes, no, it would be him Just playing righty one versus on one. you. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably around even. His righty versus your righty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun. All right, let's make uh, Chris. You had prediction Super questions. Super Bowl predictions. Bubba's got to run. I mean, He's got some more uh, some more tables. To I go to. I need this game, so I don't even want your prediction. Tell me what's going to happen. Who's okay. going to win? Take all emotion out of it. All emotion out of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Forget about your jersey. So just so all emotion if out of it. And just look at. had to put a million dollars on it. Okay. If you had to. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. If I had to. And your money I would man go, and your wife are going to know about it. I would go Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Mm. The because, spread, because plus one and a half. Well, I, it's not even, you said win. take all that out. You asked me well, about the yeah, teams. Yes. And so I'm going, I think Andy Andy Reid has been amazing dealing with these these stuff the last six weeks uh, with all the emotions going on with, with the people that show up to the games. Um my best friend Taylor Swift, um, <laughs> and so I have her jersey. I don't know if y'all seen I, it, yeah, but um, yeah, we saw it. And so, <laughs> you know, I hope they don't propose postpone the game because her jet doesn't get here in time. <laughs> yeah, that'd propose? be a tragedy. You just said no, propose? Wait, propose. what's wait, happening? Wait, at the, do you know wait, something? Spoiler I mean, alert. That's the odds. The odds are the odds are against them. You know, she wants um, the NFL to pick up the travel expenses. Seriously, that's a report by Boomer Siasen. <laughs> listen. The over and under if we're delaying the game because of her not getting here. I mean, that's the real question. Mm, wow. So, but here's the thing. When you think about Andy and what he's been able to do um, with this group of guys and what they keep doing, um, it's like playoff Jimmy down in Miami, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they just keep winning. They figure out a way to win. It's like Belichick, Belichick and, uh, and Brady. So, I just think from that side of it, their experience side of it, 
I just think that's who I would have to, if I have to go with anybody. I just realized if the Chiefs win it all, that means the Dolphins at least lost to the, the champs. To the mm-hmm. champs. Right. You're back on board. You're back. Yeah, yeah, gosh, man. That's a high five. That's a high five. You rehabbed it, man. Oh, my gosh. I mean, what a man, day. You put him on the couch. I mean, unbelievable. Bubba, thank you so much. Let's promote Liv one more time on the way out. The tournament coming up uh, this week. Right yeah, we have a tournament here in Las Vegas. It's going to be exciting. John Rahm will be there, I heard. Nice. Um, yeah, and then the awesome. party hall. I mean, it's going to be it's a crazy week in Vegas. Like, it's always crazy, but the Super Bowl. Um, and go Chiefs. Wait, what? I said And, and remember, Chiefs. I can really read a green if you need a new cat. <laughs> Perfect. I can read a mad green. Hmm. <laughs> Chris, we're going to play golf. He invited us to a baseball game. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll play golf. We'll and eat we'll ice cream, <laughs> baseball, wow. and golf. What a day. Billy, you can and bring then we'll go to the beach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll go to the beach afterwards? Yeah, and then we'll go to the beach afterwards. Yes. Whitest beaches in the world. You know? Know? What a day. <laughs> Billy's excited. I'm excited about this. All right, we appreciate this, man. No, it man, was great to meet you in person. You've been great to us throughout this playoff run. and We appreciate that. I love that you love talking football, so you're welcome here anytime. In fact, you're welcome every single week. If you oh, want. man, that yeah. would be amazing. All right, be cool. awesome. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thanks. luck this week. Thank you very much. All right.